Good morning and welcome to the promotion ceremony for Chaplain David Johns to the rank of Lieutenant Colonel. At this time I would like to introduce the official party for today's ceremony. Uh, so we have Brigadier General Michelle Munger, Special Assistant to the Adjutant General, uh, Colonel uh, Kincaid, Army Chief of Staff, Chaplain Lieutenant Colonel Ward, the West Virginia National Guard State Chaplain, and Chaplain Johns' family, uh, wife Lee, daughters Chrissy and Katie, son Vlad and wife Cassidy, sister Julie and her husband Keith, his mother-in-law Patricia, and grandchildren Carly, Ezekiel, and Hannah. They're here in spirit. <laughs> spirit. All right, uh, please rise as Chaplain Ward provides the invitation for today's ceremony. <laughs> I invite you to join me as, uh, as I pray this morning. Our Heavenly Father, we give thanks to you. We rejoice in your good gifts to us. And you are the giver of every good and perfect gift. We thank you for the blessings that we enjoy from your hand. Lord, we thank you for this day. Uh, your word says to uh, rejoice with those who rejoice and to give honor to whom honor is due. Father, how we thank you for Chaplain John's count him as a dear brother in Christ and friend, and certainly as a significant member of our West Virginia Army National Guard Chaplain Corps. We thank you, Lord, for his love for you, his love for his soldiers whom he serves, and their families. Um, we just rejoice together that we can celebrate with him and with his family this great accomplishment and milestone in his career. And so as we uh, recognize and celebrate his promotion to Lieutenant Colonel, uh, we thank you for your grace and strength and blessing that have brought him to this place. We pray that you would continue to strengthen him and enable him to faithfully serve you and faithfully serve our soldiers and their families in the future. And Father, we pray your blessing now upon this ceremony, that you would be pleased, that you would be honored, that you would be glorified. And I pray this all in the name of Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Thank you, Chaplain Ward. You may be seated. Uh, we will now hear remarks from the Chief of Staff, Colonel Kincaid, as well as Brigadier General Bunker. Sir? Yep. <clears throat> Ma'am, you know, Chaplain Johns, <laughs> Chaplain Ward, family. It's great to see such a big family unit up here. Yeah. Um, I just want to say a couple things, which is good that General Munger came, because that keeps me quick, <laughs> right? So I know everybody's, you know, wanting to get back and give them some snacks and stuff like that. But, you know, I've been around Chaplain John's, you know, for, for a long time, you know, coming up through the engineers and the 111th, you know, he deployed with us to CENTCOM, and, you know, as, as leaders, <clears throat> you know, we always think we have a gauge of what's going on out there, and and... Sometimes that can be accurate, and sometimes it's not so accurate. And the great thing about Chaplain Johns, um, you know, him being so personable and his effort to basically get down and really didn't matter the religious persuasion or, you know, background or culture, everybody felt like they could come talk to him. And that's truly how you get a gauge and a pulse of what's going on out there. And, you know, as much again as commanders like to think that they bring stability and harmony and those type of things, it's, it's the chaplain corps that's out there that's working the room. You know, I've said it at the CR2C over and over again. The chaplains do it. It's just intuitive to them. They just work the room. They're always out there talking to the soldiers, getting a, a sense of what they're doing. And he did that so well, and it's so amazing to see him move up in rank, responsibility, and carry that legacy on and put that influence out for the state. So it's amazing. And the, and the last thing I'll say is, you know, to the family members, he can't do this without you all. And so just really appreciate all your all support and investment. Thank you. Ma'am? Yes. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for coming here today. Um, the best day for me um, is the days that I get to participate in promotion ceremonies. Um, notwithstanding, Chaplain Jones was my brigade chaplain when I was um, with 77 Brigade. Um, I'm going to echo the same sentiments as what Rob had, had mentioned. 
Um, he was just the calm in almost every storm. So I was um, privy to him um, at funerals, just doing justice to the families um, and to the, to, to the fallen soldiers. Um, it very moving. Um, to going to Fort Bliss, Texas, he was my right right hand guy. Whenever I'd go out to, to visit troops, um, he was there. Would volunteer, um, would not hesitate. And so I just remember being at Fort Bliss, Texas, um, and setting up a service for maybe four or five soldiers. But he was like just one counts. Um, and so he just brings such a peace and such a calm. Um, he endeared himself to me when he said he was prior service Navy because I married a Navy guy. <laughs> <laughs> so that was my hook, um, and I was just super blessed to have you as part of our team. Um, I was super excited you were able to go to ILE um, and just to watch you mature in, in your career. Um, I know those long nights, those early mornings, those phone calls in the middle of who knows where and when, um, you are always there to answer the call, and because you're there, I know that um, your family life, sometimes um, you can't be there when you want to be there, and so your, your family ends up picking up um, those sacrifices and, and taking care of those um, chores and taking folks to school and um, stuff like that when, when you're, you're out doing your mission. So we really thank the sacrifices for the family, for the support. Um, this is a team effort. And the Army is very, very fortunate, and the West Virginia Army National Guard is very fortunate to have you here today. Um, so I can't wait for you to get promoted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Chaplain Johns and family members, if you please come up front. So, so this one, you can peel it off. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> If everybody stand, post the word. Attention to orders. Special Orders 237 AR, dated 10 June 2024. Departments of the Army and the Air Force, National Guard Bureau, Washington, D.C. The President of the United States has reposed special trust and confidence in the patriotism, valor, fidelity, and abilities of Chaplain David Johns. In view of these qualities and his demonstrated potential for increased responsibility, he is therefore promoted to Lieutenant Colonel with the effective date of rank of 2 May 2024 by orders of the Secretaries of the Army and Air Force, <laughs> Daniel R. Hokinson, General, United States Army, Chief, National Guard Bureau. Please join me in a loud round of applause. You may be seated. <laughs> Chaplain John, would you like to make some remarks? Certainly. I only have two pages of notes. <laughs> but everybody's been named already, so I don't have to run through the names. Uh, I, I was thinking of the best way to sum it up, and the, the words of Paul uh, to Timothy, I thank Christ Jesus our Lord who hath enabled me uh, for he kind of being faithful, putting me into the ministry. And that's, that's one of my foundational verses of Scripture. Because it reminds me, this is not about me. Uh, this, is, this is not about me. This is not about me. Uh, th this is about Him and what He has called me to do. And so it's been a privilege to do it. Um, regardless of what this says, we have the same message, the message of peace that's found in forgiveness of sin through Jesus Christ and the hope that comes from believing in Him and the salvation. And so no matter what this says, this is the key to everything that we do. Um, it's a tremendous honor for me. Again, I can't take credit for it. Um, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ has made these things happen, um, and I'm just honored to, to, to do this. The, the second important truth, again, is, is the hope of eternal life, and I always like to bring that up. Uh, Jesus was raised from the dead, and he was evidenced by many people before he ascended into heaven. And he said himself, if you will believe in me, you will live even after dying. Mm -hmm. I can say a lot of things to you this morning, I can't say anything more important than that. Mm -hmm. I hope you've come to that truth and that knowledge. Leaves me with a lot of people to thank. My wife first. All right, we're in the Navy. All right, we're not in the Navy. All right, we're in the Army. We're not in the Army. We're back in the Army. Uh, she's ridden the, the tide up and down. Katie's ridden it with her. Uh, Katie had uh, experienced the same four deployments that Lee experienced. And then came the rest, and, and they kind of got spoiled. They only had to go through one. Uh, but again, my family's very supportive. 
and the extended family. I appreciate those of you who came, the significant others. Uh, again, I have a large network of people uh, that have made this possible and enabled me to do not just this job, but the job at the church and the job at the home. And so, again, I am truly, truly blessed. As far as the Army ranks goes, I, I, didn't, I didn't know General Munger was coming. I already had her in the text, though. Uh, first thing, though, is the name on this building. Uh, the name on this building, General Tackett, was my first exposure to the Army National Guard. Um, he had to let me change over from blue to green. And so I had to have a board. All the paperwork was done. And I met with him and two other, two other officers. I don't remember who they were. Uh, but he had one profound uh, do or die question. Who are you going to support in the Army Navy game? That's all I asked. <laughs> and I said, love the one you're with, sir. He said, welcome, Captain. <laughs> so it did begin with him. Uh, along the way, I've had some great chaplain leadership. Uh, chaplain Coffey was the one who recruited me, and I think very highly of him. Chaplain Allen, who made it into that, I appreciate that. Uh, really a, a mentor and friend throughout the whole process, uh, a, a living example of what a chaplain really is. And so I appreciate his, his influence. And then Chaplain Ward, uh, just a genuine uh, man of God who is, is, has carried on that tradition. At brigade level, I stuck with my major assignments. I was blessed to serve with now General Munger and, and Colonel Kincaid. So I've had great leadership on that side as well. Made great friends across the country. Uh, Dan Hammond's here. Uh, Dan and I went to Bullock together. And it's just been 10 years ago. And that's just uh, incredible that he comes down. Uh, when I go up to Cleveland for, for uh, things that happen, he comes up and visits with us. And, so it's, it's great to have him here. There are other guys that hopefully are going to watch. Uh, Dave Murphy and Zika, my good friend from ILE. And uh, so I've been blessed to serve with Tompkins, uh, soon to be Chaplain Tompkins. And uh, he's, he was my religious affairs specialist. And then Perry, Perry's going to watch. He couldn't make it this morning, but Perry and I were one of the lead uh, UMTs in CENTCOM when we deployed. So we got to do a lot of stuff there together. Um, we've got Ellis, like Ellis is not here. Uh, but then there's my son Harden, uh, who is just amazing and incredible. And I can't say enough about him. He knows what your next step is going to be, and he knows what you're going to need, and he, and he gets it. And, and again, top, top senior enlisted uh, that supports us. Uh, last but not least, I'm thankfulness, thankful for our readiness NCOs and training NCOs. Uh, I don't know that any of them made up, but we chaplains are different than everybody else. We have different needs. We have different trainings. We have different days and times that we work, and, and we wear those people out. And with the 77th and the 111th, we had some of the best readiness NCOs and training NCOs. So I, I didn't want to leave them out, uh, their support, and, and they will do anything for us, uh, anything for us. Now, to close, I think it's best to say what I intend to do with this. Uh, it's simple. I'm going to continue to work at the tactical level, one-on-one, -on -one, soldier care. Uh, I mean, that's, that's the basics, the foundational things that we do. But the bulk of my time now, and, and, and so it's been recently, is, is spent operationally uh, investing in our Army, our, our Guard families, be it building resilience before and after deployments, uh, working with the children. Um, that, that will be my focus. I'll be able to use my education, my 20 years of ministry experience, and my passion uh, to improve resiliency, and that's, that's my goal. Uh, also, I'm going to support recruiting and retention. We've got a great chaplain corps, but we've got three other guys. Mm -hmm. And we, we've, you know, we're, we're just at that place that the top three are getting old. And uh, we're, we're going to have to have some more. We've got some great young chaplains. We're, we're blessed, blessed with some great chaplain that we're religious affairs specialists. Uh, but we can't stop. We're, again, we're going to lose several within the next few years. And so that will be one of the, uh, the things that I'll be working with as well. All right. Uh, I just want to say thank you. you. It's a blessing. It's, it's a really big blessing to have everybody here. Uh, and a surprise for some. So thank you for coming, and uh, it means more than you know. And, and God bless. Uh, at this time, we would like to present uh, Chaplain John's wife, Lee, and daughters, Katie and Chrissy, with a bouquet of roses for their dedicated support during his service over these many years. They, they should be made out of gold. <laughs> I mean, that's just... <laughs> I mean, if you're talking about investment. Right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, Captain Ward, we please offer the benediction? Sure, sure. Uh, please I invite like you to join me in standing and, and once again uh, join me as I, as I lead us in prayer this morning. 
Father, we, we thank you and praise you. Your word reminds us over and over again that you are good and your steadfast love endures forever. Uh, we thank you for the gifts and blessings that we're able to enjoy and, and today, Lord, able to celebrate again um, Chaplain John's, uh, his ministry. We thank you for his family and the support that they have provided and continue to provide for him. We thank you again for this celebration and this promotion today, this recognition of his years of devotion and service uh, to the soldiers of the West Virginia Army National Guard. We thank you for his contribution to our State Chaplain Corps. And Lord, I thank you for all of our chaplains and our religious affairs specialists and all that they do day in and day out in ministering uh, to our soldiers and their families and shepherding them. We, again, just thank you for Chaplain Johns for bringing him to this point. And now, Lord, as he continues to serve, we pray that you would continue to strengthen him and enable him. Um, we're reminded of the words of Paul who says, not that we are sufficient in ourselves to think of anything as of ourselves, but our sufficiency is of you. And I know as ministers of the gospel, we recognize our sufficiency comes from you. So as Chaplain Johns continues to rely upon you and lean hard upon you, may he find your grace sufficient in the days ahead. Again, thank you for this time. Thank you for those who've come out to celebrate with him and rejoice with him. Uh, thank you for the food and refreshments that have been provided. And uh, we just praise you and give you thanks and ask this all again in the name of uh, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and amen. 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 Hey, congratulations. Thank you. Very, very happy. Thank you. Appreciate it. This concludes today's ceremony. Please stick around to the Skagway chapter. Just do. Thank you so much. I'm so proud of you. I know where it comes from. I love it. I love it.